Wall is destructive. Wall is perilous. And for some, wall is an opportunity. Private, first class, 38383369. It's my name according to the general. However, my birthright is Dude Turner, a farmer boy from Columbia County, Arkansas. Now, some people calls me a hero. Not just a hero for some, but an entire race of people and my country. Seeing the world, getting money, and establishing my dignity was an opportunity to become more than an invisible man who can simply overturn dirt. And soon enough, I heard about Negroes fighting for freedom and equality, both here at home and over them seas some sort of double victory. And before I knew it, I was on the battlefield fighting for my life and scared to death. But inside me, there was something growing, breathing. And that's when I realized that I was making history and changing the face of the world forever. Now the sights and sounds of war were egregious. Men yelping and howling from the pain Guts riding to my left and my right. Bombs moving and shaking the earth. And bullets grazing by my ear. I couldn't stand it! And I surely wanted to leave that dark space in time. But I had to survive. I had to survive. And boy, it was sure cold out there. I couldn't even feel my hands and my feet. Nonetheless, stand up and hold my gun. But there was this nice family took my brothers and me in, and their names were the longest, and they risked their lives for the sake of ours. Now, I had trouble understanding why this white family would risk everything they had for the sake of 11 colored men, but I surely do appreciate it because those warm meals, that protection from the cold, and that genuine love, yes, that genuine love showed me that despite our differences in race, color, language, and beliefs, we didn't have to fight and kill. Now, I had to go back out to that battlefield and fight some more. And I ain't no believe in luck, but it was my hope that my It was my hope that my life would be spared. Despite not having the ability to save myself, it was my hope that my life and legacy would last within the ranks and epics of history and time. Not so much for folk to know my name, but rather for them to know that my death was not in vain. And it was my whole dream and belief that 11 other colored black boys like me could one day achieve the things that I never got to do. Such as having a family, marrying a beautiful woman, having kids, getting a college education, and walking with a cane on my hand at an old age. Now, no bullets, bombs, Machetes can take away my greater hope for humanity, nor my dignity. And after introspection over my last days, I can say I died a man. I died a man. Dude Turner, private first class, 383833369. Three, three,